Welcome to the Orlando Holiday Guide podcast show presented by Hugh Hattrick in association with its Orlando Time Facebook page. Trusted, acknowledged and respected. Hello and welcome to Hattrick's Orlando Holiday Guide podcast show with me, Hugh Hattrick. I hope you're having a great week and enjoying the sunshine wherever you may be from, whether it's the USA or whether it's Britain, we're here to help you make the most of your Orlando holiday. Now, with everything that's going on in the news about the coronavirus, I thought I would go into some of the details as to one of the major places like the Orlando International Airport and some of the major holiday suppliers like TUI had to say about the coronavirus. So we'll do some of that and then we'll cover one or two other topics, no doubt. And of course, we'll have our special two-week weather report. So it's all coming up in Hattrick's Orlando Holiday Podcast Guide. Now, just before I go on, if you're not already a member of the It's Orlando Time Facebook community, which is a Facebook page um, on Facebook, of course, then you need to sign up and join. It's a brilliant community and they very kindly allow us to do that in association with them. And you'll find lots of answers to your questions, um, very, very good uh, offers and, and exciting uh, deals that they do. And it's a brilliant, brilliant community to be a part of. So that's its Orlando Time Facebook page for all of you who are listening to the show, whether you be in the USA or around the world, you can join that and it's a brilliant community to be a part of. So let's get on with the coronavirus details and we'll start with TUI. Now, from doing this podcast on the Sunday night, which is on the 8th of March, um, basically TUI are saying that everything is still going on as normal. Um, you don't need to amend anything if you're currently concerned about the coronavirus because at the moment they are still doing all their holidays as normal and nothing has changed. They do recommend, certainly if you're listening to this from Great Britain, that you go onto the website, which is the Foreign Office website, just to get guidance as to travelling to different countries. But at the moment, travelling to Florida and Orlando and America seems to be absolutely fine. They did also say... Um, that uh, at the, regarding the situation at the moment, that if there was a problem, if there was a specific government advice, for example, to stop going to a particular destination like Orlando, um, you would get a full refund um, or the option to change your booking. And if that advice becomes apparent um, in the next few days, they will also do their best to contact you. That's according to the TUI website. Um, and as I'll stress again, from the TUI's point of view, from their website, they're saying all of our holidays are operating as normal and you can continue to enjoy your holiday as planned. Normal terms and conditions apply for any amendments or cancellations. However, should the Foreign Office, Foreign and Commonwealth Office travel advice change to advise travel um, to the country that you're visiting due to or due to visit, we will contact you to discuss your options, including an amendment or full refund. In this event, in the event that we're unable to operate your holiday as booked, we will contact you to discuss this. So at the moment, everything seems to be fine, but I would certainly check with your providers um, and with on the websites like the Foreign and Commonwealth Office just to make sure um, that everything is fine. Now, it seems to be the same at Disney as well. Um, in fact, I was reading a report earlier that uh, was saying that Disneyland, especially Magic Kingdom, was still remarkably busy for the time of year and it didn't seem to be dwindling at all. There have been some concerns that in other places around Orlando, things have been a little bit quieter as people have been a bit more careful as to where they go. But according to Disney, it's still pretty busy. Um, so it'll be interesting to see if it's the same at Universal too. But I think the big sites are doing everything they can to make sure that everything is very clean. Like, for example, they're trying to put out um, areas where you can um, like have hand washing facilities and, you know, the hand washing gel, things like that. They're doing everything they can to try and uh, prevent the spread of coronavirus. Now, on the Orlando International Airport um, website, they were basically saying that they were working closely with all of its federal and local partners to monitor the developments of the coronavirus. And it has a response plan in place for the Orlando International and Orlando Executive Airports, which would be activated in the event that an infected individual is identified while traveling through the airports. The key thing is, if you're going to these airports, whether it be Sanford or Orlando International Airport, is just try not to touch anything you don't need to. 
and make sure you've got hand gel and you wash your hands for a decent amount of time. There's plenty of guidelines out there. Some people are saying 20 seconds or 40 seconds and making sure you use hot water and plenty of soap. And then obviously dry your hands thoroughly in a hygienic manner as well. But it looks as if, even though there's obviously all this advice and people are quite rightfully concerned, that Orlando seems to be okay at the moment. And that's as of Sunday night, the 8th of March. Obviously, things can change very carefully and for sorry, very quickly, but it looks like it's going to be OK for the next week or two. So I'll go on to our famous weather report. So it's going to be pretty hot over the next couple of weeks in Orlando. For example, it's starting off at 28 degrees, which is for Monday the 9th. It's sorry, 24 degrees on Monday the 9th, but then on Tuesday it's up to 28 and it pretty much stays up there for the next week entirely. And it's going to be very sunny as well. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday this week, um, they're saying it's going to be at least 29 and then up into the 30s. So it's a great week. There's no sign of any rain as far as we can see. Um, very, very small chance of rain at all, actually, over the next week or so, according to BBC Weather. And as we go into next week, again, it's still in the high 20s and then back up into the early 30s from Thursday the 12th. And the odd day you might get some cloud, but it's looking pretty reasonable the whole time with a very, very small chance of rain. So this is a great couple of weeks to get off to Orlando. And it looks like everything is running as normal. Um, obviously, people are taking a lot of precautions. I think some, some of the theme parks might be a little bit quieter. Perhaps some of the shopping centres might be a little bit quieter. But I also heard that Old Town Kissimmee is just as busy as well. And that's a wee bit further out of Orlando. So there's a good chance that everything is running as normal, but you're going to get great weather and have a fantastic time out there in Orlando. So that is our two week forecast for this week. Now, very soon, I'm going to be uh, releasing my new website, which will have, of course, my Orlando holiday guide on that, which you can buy for just £5.50, including free postage. Um, and that will be delivered to your door. You can also get a Kindle version, which is just three ninety nine, and I'll leave a description. Sorry, I'll leave a link in the description for that as well. But there'll be lots more deals and exciting offers on the website when that is fully released, which should hopefully be in the next two to three weeks. Now, last week I did some of my crazy adventures on well, my first ever trip to Orlando back in two thousand and eight, which included a trip to a gun range, um, and also what was the other one that we did. Um, that's right, we did a crazy uh, trip where we ended up covering a, some people on a scooter with a massive amount of grey smoke um, when we went to Osala National Park. So if you like those, please let me know. You can contact us by email at uh, it's info, sorry, podcast at cardioadvisor.co.uk. Let us know your funny stories and crazy adventures because we'll do our best as well. We'll be more than happy um, to put them on the podcast if they're good enough. Well, I'm sure they'd give people a good laugh as well. Now, if things tend to get a little bit quieter in America, it doesn't take long for the local businesses to start offering lots of discounts and deals. In fact, when we went in 2008, I remember it was one of the major retailers like Topshop or the kind of equivalent um, of that. I'm trying to remember what it was called, actually. The main shop it was in the Florida Mall and you could get incredible deals off like uh, polo tops and things like that. I think it was two for six dollars even. Um, it was there are some incredible deals. So if things slow down a bit um, in the Florida economy, there are going to be some amazing deals very, very quickly. So things like the Nike shop, um, the restaurants, all of that will very quickly reduce their prices. So it's worth looking out for all the kind of vouchers you can get a hold of. And um, we'll do our best to make sure that I can update you with any offers that I see that come through. Um, but um, check online. And keep listening to the podcast, because if you're heading out to Orlando in the next few months, we can hopefully help you save a good bit of money on all your kind of everyday costs as well and help you to enjoy that holiday even more. So that's it for this week on Hattrick's Orlando Holiday Podcast Show. I hope you've enjoyed it. Remember, you can comment, you can like and share it. Please pass it on to your friends who are heading off to Orlando and uh, let's get as many people benefiting as possible from the It's Orlando Time Facebook community and, of course, the podcast and the guide that I've got as well. But have a fantastic week and take care, keep well, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye just now.